The pollution recorded indicates that an accident happened in a nuclear facility in Russia or just over the border in Kostestan in the last week of September. It comes just a week after the UK was struck by radiation fog with the MET office issuing an alert. Nuclear radiation fears are also being caused by North Korea with their testing of an hydrogen bomb in missiles. French Nuclear Safety Institute IRSN made the terrifying warning yesterday. It added that the accident was likely in a nuclear fuel treatment site or center for radioactive medicine. Russian authorities have said they are not aware of an accident on their territory, IRSN director Jean-Marc Perez said. Perez said that in recent weeks, IRSN and several other nuclear safety institutes in Europe had measured high levels of radioactive ruthenium-106. It is usually used in nuclear medicine. He continued that the quantity release was major and would have triggered a major evacuation if it happened in France. Measurements showed high levels of ruthenium-106 in the atmosphere of the majority of European countries at the beginning of October. The IRSN said it would have had no consequence for human health in the environment. The probability of it getting into imported food is also extremely low. This comes as just last month it was revealed in North Korea at least 200 people were killed when an unfinished tunnel collapsed at the underground nuclear test base on September 10th. There were fears that the collapse could have triggered a Fukushima Chernobyl radioactive leak. Fallout was feared to have been unleashed across the world. Now, ruthenium-106 is produced when atoms divide in a nuclear reactor. It's sometimes used in cancer treatment, specifically for melanoma of the eye, though it can be dangerous at high levels. The cloud drifting over Europe, however, never reached a concerning concentration according to the IRSN report. The concentration levels of ruthenium-106 in the air that have been recorded in Europe and especially in France are of no consequence for human health and for the environment, they went on to say. But let me ask you this question. If it was a concern for human life, do you honestly think they would let the public know that? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.